Hey, what's up guys? This is Blader Emu and welcome back to another Beyblade video. So for today, I am going to unbox Random Booster Volume 4 Quad Quetzalcoatl version. So this is product number B61 made by Takara Tomy. And defense, burst system, and right spin. So, uh... This is my first random booster for the entire Beyblade toy line. And this is actually the only dual layer system random booster released here in the Philippines. So I managed to pick one up, but sadly uh, the box is somehow deformed since I stored it in my bag instead of a uh, regular paper plastic bag, something provided by the toy store. But anyway, this is for, you can buy this for uh, 299.75. That is the average price for a random booster. So let's take a look on the box again. So top part shows you the title, Beyblade, uh, product code, system information, and the manufacturer. Here you can see a cool promotional picture of Quad Quits and his owner in the anime. Random Booster Volume 4, uh, RB Quad Quits of Kotal Defense. And here you can already see the entire uh, Random Booster Volume 4 line. So we have here Q2 Drigger S, the burst remake, the first burst remake for the Bibli Burst. And two Dark Dead Cider, one Odin, one Wild Wyvern, and two Holy Hirotsu. So, here on the side, you can see uh, the list and the parts of the following Beyblades you can get inside this random booster. So, there is a one out of eight chances of getting any of those Beyblades. So, at the back, more information. And you can see here the Banky uh, sticker. More info. Uh, this is rare bay number one, rare bay number two, and the other bays. This shows off also another new part aside from Rigger and Quad Quets. So, yeah, uh, let's get this started. I already sliced this thing. Uh, the tape so that it would be easier so let's open this up spoiler alert I have a feeling that I will get quad quits on this random booster pool so I just open the curtain out and here is the contents right out of the box so you have here three blind packs for the driver disc and layer and then here you have the instruction manual uh, the bay code and the sticker sheet I indeed get the prize Beyblade quad quetzal coat jerk press so that's B0 I mean B6101 and also here is the Beyblade Burst Philippine promotional flyer so that you could know how to avoid fakes and tournaments, all those things. I showed you that on the last video about Dragoon. So anyway, let's open this up. I'm going to get my scissors and let's start cutting it off. So since it's a guarantee pool that this is quad pencil coat, I will open the uh, I will open from driver to to layer. So let's start. So this is the driver. This is press. There you go. Press.
So it has this uh, four claw kind of thing around it. And then you have here the ball itself that is supported by this kind of barrier. Uh, similar to Massive from Wild Armed, Wild, I mean Wyvern, yes. Wyvern W1 Armed Massive. I keep saying Wild Wyvern, what the hey? So, yeah, that's press. Uh, this also came from Kaiser Curbius. And then for the disc, this is Jerk. Alright. Jerk. This is a really funny name. So uh, the, the the initial is right here. So this uh, disc is almost a perfect circle in the center, but it is protected by this plastic kind of guard. Oops, dropped it. Sorry. So it's a similar design to the God Layer Systems core disc and um, frames. So yeah, that's that. So side, top, bottom. So yeah, that's jerk. And now for the layer. Quad quetzal coat. I made my own sound effects. So this is the quad quetzal coat layer. So top, sides. And then the bottom and the teeth, you can see it right there. Nice, it's very nice. So, yeah, Q2. So, based from the design, I think it has these contact points that goes on a particular slope similar to Vulcan wheel. So, it could probably provide decent smash attack. Or uppercuts in my perspective so yeah I think X2 or V2 is probably better in terms of dual layer attack combos but um, let's do some tests sometimes so let's combine them all so 3 2 1 There you go. So I just did, I just did it three times. But anyway, so this is Quad Quetzalcoatl Jerk Press. I'm not really, I'm not a sticker kind of guy, so I'm not gonna apply those. But uh, yeah, I like the way it is. It's very elegant in my opinion. Such a big. To a layer B also so let's have a test launch all right so here we have quad quetzalcoatl on its final form final form anyway combined uh, q2 layer jerk drive I mean jerk disk and press driver so let's have a test launch I have here my handy dandy bay launcher let's go Three, two, one, go shoot! So it creates a wild pattern due to the claws here. Claws. I'm not really sure what to call them, but since it's ticked on the ridge of the stadium, it gives a very rough and fast aggression, just like an attack type, but after a few moments, it will go back straight to the middle, just like how a ball-shaped driver should be. Sorry, that was a out of focus, but anyway, uh, let's have a test launch. I'll go with um, X1, Excalibur Force Extreme, and Sprig and Requiem Zero Zeta on 
the same mode, ball mode. So, start. Alright, so that is for my unboxing and review of Quad Quetzalcoatl Jerk Press from Random Booster Volume 4 B61. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get updates from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.